All right, guys, so you know what they say, necessity is the mother of invention. And what that really means is <laughs> when you have a need, you're going to come up with an invention to satisfy that need. And that is exactly what I did with this right here. And I, I've showed this kind of in my some of my previous videos, but I haven't really showcased uh, it in a separate video. And I kind of wanted to show you uh, patent pending. You know, I've never seen this before. Uh, I just kind of came up with it. And, uh, I, I, you know, it's I pull up to some, some farmers and ranchers and the guys growing hay and selling hay. And uh, I break this out and they're like, you know, I've, I've had so many different uh, uh, comments. I've, I've probably been using it for 10 years. <laughs> and everyone says, I have never seen anything like that before. And uh, one guy says, are you an inventor? <laughs> I thought that was a kind of an interesting comment. But let me show you actually what it is here. So it is actually, it's, it's really simple. And these, these enclosed trailers <clears throat> have a door on the side. And what I did is I put a piece of wafer board in the door and then I had this big uh, farm and ranch fan and this thing is really powerful and and basically what it does uh, you can kind of see in the back here I just picked up this old trailer actually this isn't my company <laughs> actually they, they were selling their whole battery of trailers and I picked this trailer up really cheap and I basically use it for loading uh, small bales of hay and straw, and uh, I, I would say probably the traditional way, uh, actually the way I started of loading hay and straw in the small bales is uh, basically you have a flatbed trailer, and then you, you basically pull up to the stack and everyone fills the flatbed. Uh, with with hay or straw or whatever it is and then so you fill the, the straw way up high uh, you know this is you know basically you fill it up about as about as high as this way up here <laughs> so you have this, this huge stack on your trailer and then you pull it a little way from from the barn or the stack and then you strap it down and what I started doing is I actually started tying all the bales together with some twine because I'd lose some on the highway and I was always afraid they were going to fall off and then and then once you tie the top bales then you take side straps and strap them around and it would take me like an hour to load up and then it would take me half an hour to 45 minutes just to strap it and tie it and then when I got home I had to unstrap it and untie it and it's just extra time and the other thing that really benefited me going to an enclosed trailer is I live up in the mountains up here at 9,000 feet and most of the hay that I've seen is down like an hour and a half, two hours away. And basically go, come down the mountains, go through the foothills and then out into the plains of Colorado. And that is actually three different weather fronts. There's, there's completely different weather patterns in the mountains versus the foothills versus the plains. In the plains, it's almost never rains, never snows, <laughs> it's always dry as a desert. So you go to the foothills and the wind is really, really strong and you come up to the mountains and there's, there's a lot of moisture and snow. And uh, kind of what I found is uh, every time I would get hay, I would get rained on or snowed on uh, as, as I kind of went down. And, and the problem is, is if you have a whole trailer full of hay, that's wet. <laughs> now the hay's going to get moldy. So then what I would do is I'd unstrap it all and I'd stack each bale on end through my whole barn and let it dry for a week <laughs> and then restack it in my barn. It was it was a nightmare. And then then when I went to the enclosed trailer, this is a perfectly weatherproof system uh, and and you don't have to worry about the bales falling off on the highway. You don't even have to strap them. You just throw them in. It's really nice. But the only problem with the enclosed trailer is it's dusty. <laughs> so when I first started going with the enclosed trailer, I thought, oh, this is great. And then I got some really dusty hay, and I was standing in this cloud of dust. And that, as a matter of fact, I had some really moldy hay. And I can get moldy hay with a little bit of mold on it uh, for real cheap because horses won't eat it. And a lot of people kind of shy away from it. My cattle will plow through it. But the problem is you put moldy hay in this trailer. 
and uh, you get a whole cloud full of mold, <laughs> you don't want to be breathing in that mold dust. So uh, let me kind of show you how this works. Okay, first thing you need is power for the fan. And most hay barns will not have power. You pull it to most stacks, they won't have power. So I was looking for a little generator that would power the fan, and I found the perfect one. And it fits perfectly in the toolbox right on my truck here. And it's, it's a little 800 watt earthquake. It fits right in here. And I have all my straps and everything in here. And let me pull that out and I'll show you how it works. So this is a, an earthquake IG800. You can't run a whole lot of stuff on an 800 watt, but all I really needed it for was my fan. And I can actually run a few lights if I need to, especially if I'm loading at night. So basically what I'll do is I'll run a cord over and I'll just plug it in and I kind of modified this cord uh, to make it a little bit shorter and then this basically has a has an on and off button here you can uh, basically I normally close the the vent for the gas it has economy mode I never use that and then basically you just plug into there and I normally don't plug in until it's started and for this it's pretty simple you just Pump this little primer button until it's full of gas. And you turn on the choke. There's an on switch here. I always leave it on. <laughs> I turn it off from the front. And basically, I'll just kind of fire it up. All right, let's fire this thing up. <laughs> so that's basically it. It starts real easy. Normally I just turn it on choke just for a second, and then as soon as it starts, I'll turn it off, turn the choke off, and let it run. And then, since it's all hooked up to the fan, I'll just plug it in here. That's plugged in. And it basically runs the fan over here. And the thing I really like about it is, is I can pull up to a stack and uh, it'll be rainy and windy and really bad weather. I know it's a little windy now. <laughs> it's not really good with this camera in the wind. Uh, it kind of cuts out the microphone. <laughs> but it could be really bad weather. And I can actually pull right up to the stack. And I've actually, uh, I've actually, actually pulled up to a stack where I can take the tarp on the stack and I can actually lay it over my uh, the back of the camper and I'm like totally enclosed. It's really, really bad weather and raining and people can't believe I'm loading hay and I'm just going in and out underneath that, that tarp uh, for, you know, from a dry stack into a dry trailer and I got the, the fan to pull out all the hay dust. It's a really nice setup if you're thinking of doing hay. I would highly recommend doing a, a trailer, kind of a similar setup. So <laughs> I thought I'd share. It's kind of a new thing. I've never seen anyone do it before. And I thought I'd throw it out there to give you some ideas. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.